All right, guys. Good morning, and welcome to day two of Perry. Today is more of like a sightseeing day, going to the Louvre to go check out the artwork, and then we're gonna go see some other like historical stuff as well. We are sat next to the Eiffel Tower right out there, and Ava is having brunch. I asked him if it came with bread. He's like, no, just a salad. So I ordered a baguette, and it comes with a whole piece. He's like, that girl doesn't get enough bread. No, he gave you more bread. It doesn't come with it. He, he was being nice because he knows you wanted a baguette. Eat it all. Just kidding. This looks good. This omelet looks really good. Her food actually looks amazing. It's ham and veggies, and then a little salad. All right, Beeb, what do we find? Come to the Baton store. The building is dope though. I really like that. It's super fun. I've never seen anything like it actually. Really clever. Guys, we made it to the Louvre. Beautiful. Honestly, the little pyramid is cool, but what really surprised me more than anything and the thing I was most impressed with was the actual architecture of the building that surrounds it. There's a ton of detail. When you zoom in on the camera, you can see all the little statues and recessed statues and sculptures that cover the whole building and keep it very, 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 very interesting to look at. Um, the roundabout's very iconic here too. I mean, everything about this, you can still see the Eiffel Tower from here actually, from the angle that we're at. Pretty crazy, this is like the most Paris thing that I've experienced since being in Paris, aside from the actual Eiffel Tower. that's so famous that you stand out in front of. We're standing underneath of it right now and it literally feels like a greenhouse. It is like a thousand degrees. Oh, pretty hot. Anyways, we're gonna wander around. We're gonna go check out Mona Lisa. Did you have to show a ticket to get in? No. <laughs> no, we bought tickets. I think we got scammed again. I think it's free because they didn't ask for any type of anything, did they, babe? Yeah, no. No, so. As far as our knowledge, from our experience so far, you can just walk in, guys. So, maybe from now on, don't buy shit. Just get the free pass, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding, you do need a ticket, I lied. You need, you need to get a ticket to get into where all the art is at. But you can get into the general area without a ticket. So a lot of these statues in here are actually incomplete statues. Meaning, what I mean by that is uh, they found they would be digging or come across an old piece of um, a statue, say like a head or a torso, and they've kind of gone and either remodeled the bodies how they think it was done back in the day, or they'll take pieces of ones that they found and kind of Frankenstein together to make uh, complete statues. So some of the pieces, elements of these statues go back to the 1600s. Some of them are more modern pieces integrated within to make it more of a complete piece of work. I used to take art history class and it was one of my favorites I've ever taken. These statues, I love these types of um, kind of recessed, recessed art. Very cool, very, very, very neat. That's kind of what makes a lot of these buildings look so majestic and shit, is like having the, uh, the artwork recessed into the walls, you know, so pretty neat. I really do enjoy these and these, go back way, way, way long, this style of artwork. So it's really neat to see. What do you think, Beeb? It's pretty cool. Pretty neat, huh? It's very packed. Yeah. Well, this room's not so bad. Some of the other rooms, though, you're like touching people. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm a big fan of the Daily Stoic podcast and um, meditations. And so there's a lot of figures you know, from the stories and um, philosophy and whatnot 
that are in this room via ancient sculptures. So that's pretty sick. I'm, I'm really enjoying this room a lot. I think this probably will be one of my favorite rooms of the entire building, if I'm being honest. It's We're gonna... crazy how they made the sculptures all by hand. Yeah, they just used their fingers actually, just ripped pieces of rock away. They were so much stronger back then. I think one of the coolest things about the Greek stuff to me is their philosophy, their statues, their art, all this thing has lasted thousands of years. Whoever did these sculptures was not alive when my grandpa, great grandpa, etc., 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 was alive. It's literally been ages and ages and ages. So right now, we're gonna go find the Mona Lisa just for the sake of vlogging it before the camera dies. So let's go get it, yay me. This painting back here behind me is so big in person. It's way larger than you'd expect. It's funny guys, check out the line to get to the Mona Lisa. <laughs> it's like fucking roped off. Uh, it's so funny, I'm gonna go hop in line because I, I do want to see it, but I don't know that's even like worth it to wait in line that long. We'll go take a look. It's like Disneyland in here. She's just pulling her shirt down. It's funny seeing everybody with their cell phones trying to snag photos of it. It's like, it's like a meme at this point. Now obviously I'm gonna film the Mona Lisa, I'm gonna come take a picture, etc, etc. I will say this though, it's only because it's so famous, but if you were to ask me which painting in here is the nicest, it would be nowhere near the top of my list. It wouldn't be in the top 100. That one that we first walked into, that was like major. Wait, impressive. yeah. Like On the entire size of a wall. One thing I really love about the Louvre is the building is just as much a piece of art as the actual artwork contained within the building. It's incredible. Pretty sick, huh? Yep. I should have filmed those macaroons. We had some more macaroons from that candy shop yesterday. Yeah, I had one just now. It's so fire. I had two actually, and they're so good. Honestly, some of the best I've had in my entire life. I don't even really like macaroons, but those no, are fucking. These are like amazing. Those are some of the best. Amazing. Probably the as good as the artwork here. Sure. And that is a wrap. If you guys liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching these videos, and I'll see you in the next adventure.